This game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. Individuals suffering from anxiety or depression may not have a safe experience playing this game. For content warnings, please visit the link on the screen. By playing Doki Doki Literature Club, you agree that you're at least 13 years of age and consent to your exposure to highly disturbing content. What? <laughs> what? Like, what am I going to see? Like, this is very... I'm scared now. I'm going to agree because you always agree to this sort of stuff. Same thing again. Okay. So I was suggested to do this video for my Halloween video. But well, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I had a lot of stuff going on so I couldn't really do that. So I guess we're doing it now. I'm not entirely sure why it was suggested for my Halloween video. Yeah, so I guess new game. Please enter your name. Yeah, it turns out that uh, it has a canon name, um, MC. I'm guessing that just stands for main character or something. But, oh well, MC it is. Hey! I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's completely oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Siri, my neighbour and good friend since we're children. You know, the kind of friend that you never see yourself making today, but it kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I get tired of waking up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. <laughs> Don't run away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Siri catch up to me. <laughs> It'd be funny if he just ran away. <laughs> just like... Just like, bye! Ah, ah, I overslept again! But I caught you this time! Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Uh, you'd say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, MC! Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them thinking we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. Guess you don't have it in you to be mean even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sarah. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, MC. Have we decided he's on a club to join yet? A club? Yes, the game is called Doki Doki Literature Club, that's what you're supposed to do. I told you already. I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Hey, that's not true! You told me you'd join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did, in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's talking about. Siri likes to worry a little too much about me, and I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Uh -huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialise or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? I know you're happy now, but I'd hate the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll look for a few clubs if that makes you happy. No promises though. Come on man, you gotta go to the clubs man, that's what the game's called. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why did I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? <laughs> Well, in that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent her. I guess seeing her worry about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside her head. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. Yeah, so far, this game is seeming a lot like Dish of the Fries, like, characters are pictures. It's like, uh, the backgrounds aren't moving, they're kind of just like, uh, they come up and stuff, you have to, like, tap the screen to, like, 
bring up the text and like read out and stuff. Oh, there's not text to speech voices. <laughs> we need Dave in here. <laughs> we need Dave in, in this game. That'd be pretty funny. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at a wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Siri wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice to, but to start with the anime club. I'm sorry, but no, you're going to the literature club, my man. Hello? Siri? Siri must have come into the classroom while spacing out. I look around and realise I'm the only one left in the classroom. Because you're that fucking lazy, you almost fell asleep in the classroom. I'm disappointed in you, MC. Disappointed. Absolutely appalled. <laughs> I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but then I'd just seen you sp seeing you and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes, I'm impressed. I already know who my favourite character is, but I've only seen one other character <laughs> I've only seen one character, so I don't really know. But I like I like this one. Like, this one's alright. I don't really know if it's gonna be my favourite character since I've not seen the other three. Because Actually, there might be more than three. I don't know. I seen a, uh, I seen four on the um, title screen. Um, so I'm guessing that means there must be like uh, at least four. There's at least four. You don't need to wait up for me. If it's going to make you late for your own club, well, I thought you may need some encouragement. So I thought, you know, you know what? <laughs> well, that you could j join my club. Siori. Eh. There's no way I'm going to your club. Eh, uh, Mini! Siri's the vice president of the literature club. Not that I'm ever aware that she has any interest in literature. Yeah, so this is the literature club, so. You're gonna join that, man. Like. That's what the game's all about. Apparently. I'm mean, called Doki Doki Literature Club, not Doki Doki Anime Club. In fact, I'm 99% sure that you only did it because you thought it'd be fun to have to start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title, the title Vice President. I don't know why I said title. <laughs> There's a T in there, right? There's a, there is a T in there. God damn it. It's still early in the morning, so... Yeah. That says, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. No, you're not. Come on, please! How'd you care so much anyway? Well... I kinda told the club yesterday I'd be bringing a new member. And that Suki made cupcakes and everything. Hehe. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. Fair enough. I can't tell if Sierra is really mu that much of an airhead. Or if she's so cunning to have planned this all out. She's cunning. She knew about this all along. <laughs> she planned it all. <laughs> Let out a long sigh. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yay, let's go! Come on, get the fuck moving! And this, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I dejectedly follow the area across the school and up the stairs. A section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Siri, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Hey, by any chance did you catch crabs at that conference? <laughs> what? I heard that those conferences are regular little fuck fest, huh? Guy come Everyone, the new member is here. I told you don't call me the new member. Eh? Yeah, I glance around the classroom. What's in the classroom? Looks like there's lots of tables. There's like things on the wall. No, I'm a bit, I bet the stuff's gonna appear if I press this. Ah, okay. Um, welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure meeting you, says girl one. Siori always says nice things about you. Ah, oh, thank you, Siori. <laughs> Seriously, you brought a boy, says girl two. Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, uh, MZ, what a nice surprise, says girl three. Welcome to the club. But it's just like shocked silence. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. Simp. That, you're a simp. Simp. I got you. Simp. You're a simp. And nothing else. Really, I'm seeing that. <laughs> really, damn it. Wait. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Tell me. Tell me what you're looking at. Are you looking at me? 
You better not be looking at me. If you want to say something, say it. Say it, motherfucker. You better fucking say it, man. Sorry. Natsuki. Oh, girl 2 is actually called Natsuki. Oh, I'm sure that's the one that made the copy, isn't it? The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I do not recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made the cupcakes according to Siri. Yeah, that is right. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Siri says that quietly in my ear and then turns back to the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Siri and Natsuki. Ah, well, it's nice to be meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, isn't that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, MC. Monica smiles sweetly. Well, we do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we're in the same class last year. Yeah, that's got kind of for something. <laughs> okay, um, so that's four characters right now, so... I wonder if there's any more. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically completely out of my league. Having her smile at me so genuinely makes me feel a little... Hey, you, you, you too, Monica? Cuck, simp. You're the lowest of the low. I'm sorry, I don't make the rules. We have sex now? That's you, simp. MC's got to calm down. <laughs> calm down, man. <laughs> calm down, man. Come, sit down, MC. We made room for you at the table, so you can sit down next to me or Monica. I'll sit next to you, Siri, since you're okay. I'll get the cupcakes. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. I wanted to eat all your cupcakes before I brought them over. And how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Siori mentioned, it's been widened so that there's one space next to Monica and one space next to Siori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrap tray and Yuri opens the closet. This, this game's going to destroy my voice. Still feeling awkward to take a seat next to Siri. This game is going to destroy my voice. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. I don't think it'll destroy my voice because like, uh, well, I've done like a three hour stream <laughs> for 200 subscribers and like, yeah, I'm sure I can go on. I'm fine. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Drum roll, please. Ta-da! Oh, whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray and reveals a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Oh. I want to see them. Where are they? <laughs> the whiskers are drawn on with icing and little pieces of chocolate are used to make the ears. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. Hey, hey, well, you know. Just hurry up and take one. Sierra so grabs one first, then Monica, and I follow. It's delicious! Siri <laughs> talks about her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Oh. Hello, Oakley. What are you saying? Alright, say hello to YouTube, Oakley. Say hello. He says hello. Right. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but no notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? Yes, that's what you do with food. <laughs> that's usually what you do with food. What do you do with food like? Alright, leave it in the comments. What do you do with food? Do you eat it or do you like drink it? <laughs> well, you can drink food. Um, what do you do with food? Leave it in the comments. I love reading your comments. Make sure I put them down. And that means I have something to do. <laughs> I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavour. wonder if she made it herself. Of course she did. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I haven't I heard this somewhere before. <laughs> Made them for you or anything. Yeah, I thought you technically did. Siri said. Well, maybe. But not for you, you, you dummy. Alright, alright. 
I give up on that Suki's so weird logic. Right. Fucking mind. Right. Quite opening the doors. <laughs> Damn wind. Give up on Netsuke's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down a teapot next to the cupcake tray. Do you keep a whole tea set in the classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Ah, uh, I guess. Hey, don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Eh, yeah, that's not. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I mean that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. I'm glad. Monica's just daring us. Monica faintly smiles at herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow and then smiles at me. She's been doing that for the last, like, 20 minutes. So, what made you consider the literature club? I got lured here with cupcakes. Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by theory. Just tell the truth, man. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Siri seems very really happy here, so... It's okay, don't be embarrassed. We we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it is my duty to make sure the club is fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. What made you decide to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you leader of the debate club last year? Ah, <laughs> well, yeah, no. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. I feel like there's nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. Hello, club. Yeah, he's sleeping now. <laughs> and if it encourages others to get into the future, I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Where's Natsuki at? Isn't she supposed to agree? Cheer for your leader, damn it! <laughs> then I'm surprised there are more people in the club yet. Must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. You're no understatement of the fucking year, but you could put it that way. Not many people are really interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when that something doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can really grow this club before we graduate. Right everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they're also delayed by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So MC, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh... Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps herself quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke out thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Oh, sad. Sad Yuri. Pat, pat, pat. <laughs> Just like... Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. Where's her teacup? <laughs> I don't see no teacup. She, like, got it behind her or something. My favourites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. Hello, sir. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination and completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Uh, I read a horror book once. I desperately grabbed something I can relate to on a minimal level. At this rate, Yuri may as well be having a conversation with my rock. Really? 
I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you, I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror often is very successful at changing the way you look at the world, only if only for a brief moment. Ah, hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, it's just... Yuri's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute stuff, don't you, Natsuki? What? That is utter bullshit. <laughs> what gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last meeting. It looks like you're working on a poem called... Dash. Don't say it out loud. Give that back. Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems. Everything you do is as cute as you are. Siori sidles up behind Natsuki and puts her head on her shoulders. <laughs> what? No, I completely got that wrong. Right. I'm not cute! Natsuki, you write your own poems? Uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why do you share them sometime? No! Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing you even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, it would set an example to help Natsuki feel more comfortable to share hers. Eminem, fight me. <laughs> I guess it's the same for Yuri. Ah, oh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Huh? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. The next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way everyone is even. Um. Oh. Yay, let's go it. I was about to say let's go. Yay, let's go. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it helps us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strength and spawn in the club. Isn't that right, MC? Yeah. Monica smells warmly at me once again. Well, hold on, there's still one problem. Yeah, what's that? Now that we're back on the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forward with me with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Siri may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made a decision. Oh no, you've angered them all now. <laughs> I still have other clubs to look at and um, See, you've pissed them all off now. <laughs> I lose my train of thought. They're all going to kill you now. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, I'm sorry, I thought. Um, MC, you moron. You all, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear head decision when it's all like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay to order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Calm down, man. Right. Okay, I've decided to... Um, I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Woo! Yes! I'm so happy! Siri wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I'd be super pissed. And that makes us official! Welcome to the Literature Club! Ah, thanks I guess. Okay everyone, I think with that we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember today's assignment? Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share! Monica looks over at me once more. MC, I'm looking forward to see how you express yourself. Hehehe. <laughs> yeah. I really impressed the class star Monica of my mediocre writing skills. I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Nesuke clean up their food. Hey, MC, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Siri and I never walk home together anymore because she's always stayed after school for clubs. Eh, sure, why as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between four girls. Siori, Nezuki, 
Yuri, and of course Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in the literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to go closer to one of these girls. Come down, mate. Teeth, all three simp marks right there. But this simp problem has simps a bit simping. You better pack your bag and move to Simp City right now. <laughs> Alright. I just need to make the most of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favourite club member will like. Something good might happen if whoever likes the poem the most. Okay. Okay, so... I mean, Yuri's alright. Natsuki's alright. I don't really have an opinion on these characters, to be honest. Um, I like Siri, so we're just going to go with Siri. Um, what words does Siri like, though? I don't know, let's just pick a random one. Well, apparently Yuri likes that one. Siri likes that one. And that one. Breathe. Video is getting a bit long. I think I'm just going to record it day by day. So every time I do a day of this game, I'm going to record another video. So this is the end of episode one, people. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to come back for more. Leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any more content. Or I think you have to like do the bell as well. Um, yeah, so I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.